hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kenesha and if you're new here welcome to all my returning subscribers and supporters you guys are amazing thank you guys so much guys so in today's video I am gonna be talking about something that is very um, near and dear to my heart the month of April is recognized as um, autism awareness month um, today April 2nd is um, autism awareness day so you wear blue or you wear the symbols with their symbol which is um, a multicolored puzzle as you can see with my uh, my hair bow yes guys so um, I was gonna I, I I was gonna just write some stuff down that I wanted to talk about but then I I just couldn't bring myself to do that so I'm just gonna talk from my heart so um autism is a disorder um a new neurological disorder and the way how i see it is that people with autism their brains are different their brains are wired different um and there's a saying if you if you've ever meet uh, if you have ever met someone with autism, you met someone with autism because they're all different. They all have different characteristics. They all have different strengths. They all have different weaknesses. So, um, I have out of my six children, two of them are autistic. So I have Lucian, he is nine, and Irene, um, age seven. And also, I am looking at Jax because he um, is showing some signs of it. Um, Jax is my um 19 month old baby he is he is showing side of it so um the first when lucian was diagnosed with autism he was 23 months and i remember i remember it like it was yesterday so um i had taken him for i had taken him for his when i took him for his 15 months checkup um, you know that they, they do a uh, evaluation there and there was some of the things that he he was not doing for his age so then the doctor said you know um it's nothing to worry about let's just wait and see so when i took him back for his 18 months checkup like the doctor was really concerned like he wasn't doing a lot of stuff that he should have been doing at his age so um he said, you know what, I'm going to give you guys speech therapy um, and I am going to send you to a specialist. So we, we, um, our appointment came for the, um, for the, appo the appointment came for the, um, for his, his, uh, what do you call it? Um, consultation. Or evaluation evaluation sorry um the date came i took him so what the um the doctor did that was doing the, evo the um the evaluation she just watched him play while we talked she asked me some questions and then like she 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 told me then and there she told me then and there from what she see and from everything that was um collected on stuff that he is autistic guys i i just started to ball and like like the water is just running just water works everywhere and she's like she said you know what i'm you're gonna have to come back because any everything that i have to tell you from this point you're not going to hear because right now you're upset and she assured me she said what you're thinking of is something different like mind you guys i've, I've at that point i have only ever heard of autism two times in my life my sister said it one time and my sister had said that she think she thought that someone was autistic and i was young and then i was watching a movie where um this couple had twins and turned out that they were both um they were both autistic so it's like i felt i was just thrown into a world i felt like i was just thrown into a world so it's like one thing going to my head oh my god oh my god my poor child my poor child you know and like he isn't aware he isn't aware so he's just playing and laughing 
Um, yes, guys. So, um, like I went back. I went back. She made me. She gave me a uh, different appointment. We went back that day, and she's like, she knows she's assuring me. She says, um, people with autism they can live. Um, people with autism can live normal lives. Anything a typical person can do, someone with autism can do it. It may take a longer time for them to do it, but they can do it. And she says, people with autism, they are extremely smart. And let me tell you, my God, they are. They are extremely, extremely intelligent. Um, one of the one of the things that um, one of the issue that someone with autism have is um when it comes to socializing that's a big thing for them they like their own space they like they don't they don't re and socialization as well as communication um some people with autism are non-verbal well in our case um both of the boys talk and talk a little bit too much <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, so um, both of them talk, so that's not our reality. Um, but I know some people with kids with autism who doesn't talk. Anyways, um, Lucien, Lucien, he went after we found, found out, the doctors told me, and she said, you know, um, going to daycare, being around typical children, um, it, it usually helped them because they... They like to. They are very absorbent, and that's one of the way that ways that they learn. They like they absorb everything, and if you ever come into, I'm telling this to everyone. If you ever come into contact with someone with autism, be mindful of what you say around them. Even though it seems like they're not listening, they are listening. Even though it seems that they're not paying attention, they are. They just you might not notice, but they are they are they are very very absorbent so um he went to daycare and um he at daycare he was the only child that knew his abcs who knew um how to come from one to he was counting at that point from one to um beyond 50 even he knew he knew his he knew his numbers he knew his numbers even though he wasn't really at that, this point like making sentences and sentences and stuff he was talking but he just wasn't making sentences he was like he was talking on the need need to basis if he wanted something he would say what he wants but that's it but he knew his abcs um he knew how to count he knew his shapes like he was interested in those stuff so at daycare they had um a bin that was just for him so, like, when they were doing circle times and stuff, he would not want to participate, and they did not force him to participate. So, while they were doing his circle time, he was doing his own thing. And the teacher said, um, even though he was doing his own thing, he was learning the songs. He was learning the songs that they were singing. He, he, uh, he came up from school one day, and he was doing sign languages. And I asked the teacher, I said, do you guys teach him sign languages? sign languages and she said no but they have a chart they have a chart so he was um he was <laughs> learning from the chart and um when when time came for him to go to um to kindergarten it was an easy transition from kindergarten to to um to preschool because like it was in a um a setting that he was familiar with he, he was familiar when the school was very very accommodating to him he had a, a ea who what she is amazing and she was able to help him so that's that solution arim um arim started talking very very early because he is the fourth of my six so he started talking very very early and having conversation but even even though he was he, he had the, um even though he had the ability ability to talk sometimes he would still be putting in his own language that's something that i observed so um and then he was doing things and then um i'm i'm, I'm him, him myself and his dad we are 
thinking, what if he is also? Because he's showing signs of it. And I'll talk to about some signs in a bit. Um, sorry guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> um, so he he was he was he was showing signs, but we just thought after a while we thought it okay maybe he was just copying stuff that Lucian does because one of the things that Lucian didn't do was talk so he is talking right so we just thought okay maybe he's just copying some of the things that Lucian does so um, when he went to when he went as he got as he got older the um, the signs started to get more strong and then he started doing his own things he had started having his own signs so that was a clear giveaway to me I spoke to my doctor about it and this is a different doctor so she said like she don't think so she said she didn't she didn't think so anyways when when it was time for him to go to kindergarten he didn't go to he didn't go to um daycare when he was going to, ready to go to kindergarten so we went for the um we went for the of uh, what's that called kindergarten orientation we went for the orientation and at the orientation they had a um kindergarten readiness program over the summer so the um the teacher she said you know like she encouraged people to take the children there because they might benefit so i took him i took him to the to the orientation no i took him to the orientation first and from the orientation, I was told maybe the the kindergarten readiness program. Oh my God, guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's not even hot in here, guys. It's not even hot in here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes. Um. So I took him to the um the kindergarten readiness program, and um. So I told them, you know that. He, I think that he is, and the the lady there that I was talking, the lady that was running the program, she said that um, if I feel it this way, then I should talk to my doctor about it. I did again and again. I was told, okay, um, it doesn't, it doesn't, he doesn't. This may be just him being a child and stuff like that. So that's that. When he started kindergarten, when he started kindergarten. I went to pick him up one day and then his teacher put a note in his bag and she told me she, she said that she have been noticing some um some she noticed she's been noticing that he has been displaying some signs and they want she wants she told me that I I should get him evaluated so this time I had ammunition so I had a letter from the from the teacher so I took it for I took it to my to my doctor and so that's how I was able to, I was able to, um, get him to get, get him to, um, be evaluated. So, um, she, she asked me to bring it. She wanted to see both of them together. Arim and Lucian. So I took them and then she, she said she can, she can just from looking at them interact with each other and uh, interact she said that she this this is my my um doctor at the time she said she noticed that um lucian um has a is a little bit more artistic that's not what she said but that's what she meant he's he's higher up on the spectrum than arim is like if if arim is at this point so I took him, I took him, um, to get evaluated and so this, this appointment now is in two. So I took him, there's a, a, an, uh, appointment for me and him. And then there's one for me where am I, where I am going to get the result, the results, the results, sorry guys, <laughs> results. <laughs> Did I say I was nervous? As I am, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I am. Anyways, um, I took him, and he did his thing. He did his thing, and 
so it was my turn my appointment and my appointment came back and as i'm walking to my appointment i'm talking to myself and i'm saying okay if he is he is if he isn't he isn't but if he is he isn't like there's no big deal about that right like to us that it's it is what it is like this is something that that i that i'm more um educated about now so like so what you know so what that's what I, i was saying like it's not a big deal it's not a big deal if he is that's I'm, I'm giving myself a pep talk as I walked to my appointment. Um, I needed it because I was a bit nervous that I, I knew what I was going to hear, but I don't think I was ready to hear it. So I walked to my appointment. I went into the room and she came in and she said, um, we met the criteria for someone um, with autism and I'm like rocking back and forth and I'm like it's okay it's okay it's okay and I'm trying to pump myself up it's okay it's okay but I start crying again I start crying again and I'm like oh my god I, why am I crying I'm an, and I'm, I'm apologizing to the doctor and so I'm so sorry I don't know why I'm crying I shouldn't be like I I I, I thought I like I was I was okay with this but obviously it wasn't because I was crying so and then I, I and i explained to her i explained to her why i was crying and the reason i was crying is not because he's autistic because there's child there's children the hospital that we went to it was a rehabilit ha, rehabilitation hospital for children and like there's children with far more severe um diagnosis than autism and stuff that you can see like visual you know that you can see but and and i and i, and I said to her i said even even though like i am um, i know what this thing is i know what it is like no parent want to hear that there's something you know not not normal with their with their child and i'm sorry if this video is um is gonna be a bit lengthy this is just me, you know, talking. Um, no parent want to hear that their ch their child has is gonna have um, issues, a complication when it comes to when it comes to having a normal life, you know. And I'm not saying that my children won't have normal life. It's just saying, I'm just saying, you know, at this time, this is like, even though I, I know what it is and I know what needs to be done and stuff, but at this, like hearing this news and like I, I told her, I said, you know, I know that they're going to be okay. I know that I be, they're going to be okay. But even though I know this, it's just, it was coming from me being their mom me being their mom and you know getting this news now i have two autism uh, two children with autism and even though even though um i know that it's not my fault it's nothing that i did you know it's still it's it's still there right it's still like something that you think okay what if what if you know what if what if what if it's something that i did what if what 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 why why like you know i still i still ha had those i still had those questions at that time and it's like like yeah anyways um i sat there i talked to her i got to talk to a social worker and <laughs> We do our best. We do our best to make sure that they are going to have um, normal lives. We don't treat them special because they're not like they, they have chose. They have they get punished when they need to be punished. Like so we don't treat them special or anything. Um, I'm so sorry. I don't 
don't know like when I when I think about them when I when I when I when I see them especially Lucian Lucian is like I said I is more outspoken he has always been this way and this is just something like he'll tell you what's on his mind he'll tell you what's on his mind he he do, when it comes to expressing himself he doesn't have he he doesn't there's no problem there there's no problem there but Lucian he he sometimes he's more he's more he's more quiet and like i worry about him i worry about him i always worry about I, I, I'm, I'm gonna always worry about my all my children but when it comes to lucian like i'm a i'm a bit more like because sometimes he cannot tell he cannot tell when someone is is um he cannot he cannot what am i trying to say He, he, when it comes to social, the social cues and stuff, like there's where his problem, his this problem, you know, communication, communication. Like if he wanna tell us something, he has to, and sometimes he his voice gets really high when he's trying to express himself, and like you can see him thinking about the, trying to find the words to say, and it just seems so it seems so hard for him to express himself so it seems so hard for him to express himself so every day when he comes from school i ask him Lucian, does any, does anyone bother you at school and he'll tell me no and you know but i've we've been really lucky we have been really lucky we even we have never had an issue with bullies or anything but you know the older they get you know the meaner children can get and stuff and the more that they see that someone is different they all go that's when that's when they become targets and that's my number one fear that's my i think that's every parent's biggest fear and that is my number one fear that that my child my children would won't be able to to um stick up for themselves because especially lucian because he doesn't know how he doesn't know how to he can tell you stop he can tell you stop and he, if somebody's bottom him he might just he he will just walk away but what's gonna happen my thing is what's gonna happen when someone keep doing it someone keep at it someone keep at it you know how would he react in this and and i'm not and i'm i'm not always gonna be there his dad is not always gonna be there to you know to to you know to protect him you know so that is something <laughs> That is one of my biggest fears. That is one of my biggest fears. Oh God, I'm so sorry. It's one of my biggest. It's, that's one of. That is one of our biggest fears when it comes to when it comes to this whole. Um. When it comes to this, when it comes to this. They are both in a regular class. They do have an IP IEP. That the that the school following the school like the school that they, they goes to, is is amazing. It's amazing, and they like the, the teachers have to take um, courses to know how to deal with children with autism. They give them downtime just so that they're not overwhelmed. And I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful that. I'm really thankful for like everyone who have helped us along this journey. Cause it's 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 not it's not easy and i know it's it's not easy but the people who have it worse off than us so you know in everything i am i am thankful and the way i view autism i view it as and it, this is my this is how i see it this is how i see it without autism they wouldn't be who they are and I love them regardless, but without 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 autism, they wouldn't be who they are. And they are amazing. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they're my children. If you have ever met someone who know them, like if you had if you have to talk to their teachers, it's just it's just am like it amazes me when 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 I have to listen to their teachers talk about them, talk about them. Especially I mean his teacher this year and him were both budding heads. Because it was a new grade and it takes a time for them to, it takes time for them to adjust to to 
to um new stuff even like they try to like each year they try to make sure that they introduce them to the teachers introduce them to the classrooms make sure that they know that okay next year when they come back to school it, it'll be different but still you know even though they do all this thing then summer passes and then they go back to school and it's different so him and his new teacher was were but were button heads but now they, they're cool and she'd say she, she told me she said um, he had taught. He have taught me so much. He have taught me so much. Like she says, um, it's it's really it's really amazing. It's really amazing to interact with someone who has autism, and who um, to see how to see how they react, see how they communicate, and stuff like that. And I like it when when Lucian when Lucian talks when I can get Lucian to talk like it just it just fills my heart with pride you know because he's he's just so he's just so quiet he's just so quiet um yes guys I just want to share that with you guys I I'll, I'll do another one of this video that I'm a, I'm a I'm a bit of a mess I'll do a, another video where I talk about um the signs and um stuff like that. And I'm so sorry that I, <laughs> I'm sorry if I, if I, if I seemed all over the place with this and, um, yes. So, um, I asked Kiara, I asked Kiara to, I, I wanted her to do it on camera, but she didn't want to. So, but she did, she did send it to me. So I'm going to read what she and I'm, I'm so sorry if this video is long. I am so sorry. But I'm going to read what Kiara sent to me. This is her view on autism. Autism is a social um, disability that can that can cause a person to be extra sensitive to loud, loud noises, flash and light, and not be able to deal with changes. The list goes on. I have in... I. I have eight, she said eight younger siblings, she doesn't, she have five, five younger siblings, two of which have autism. The two can be more different, can, couldn't be more different in personality. Lucian, while Lucian is quiet and to himself, Arim is loud and outgoing. I always get asked what it's like to have so many siblings, but on top of that, what it's like to have two brothers with autism to which i reply that having so many siblings just um just require a lot of patience <laughs> and having two brothers with autism is the same as having two brothers without <laughs> the only difference <laughs> the only difference is that you have to have you have the only difference is that you have to be more aware and more open to ideas that you kind of lash out at them for being the way they are. A lot of self resist, um, self restraint and tolerance is needed. It hurt a lot to see people in the world treat others with autism as if they are dumb and an outsider. This couldn't be farther from the truth. My brothers are extremely. <laughs> Are extremely intelligent, especially when it comes to technology and math. They know more things than I do, and I cannot. I cannot be anything but proud to watch them prove society wrong. To anyone that still have a stigma about autism. To anyone that still have a stigma about autism, they are not disabled, just differently abled and shouldn't be labeled as anything besides some of the greatest people that ever works the earth. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry that this is so long and I'm sorry that I've been crying on camera. <laughs> Bye.